Okay, so in this question, uh, we are asked to find a 2 plus 2 matrix A such that A square is a diagonal matrix. Alright, diagonal matrix is like if it is a 2 plus 2 matrix, then we have zeros here and some entries here, real numbers. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are talking about the field, real field, but it can be complex. Yeah, for now, just numbers. Okay, so how should we go about this? Yeah, to start with, let's let's take A equal to uh, A, B, C, and D, right? So our A square should be something like say e 0 0 and f so a square should be a diagonal matrix but a is not a diagonal matrix and we have to find this a so how should we proceed about this let's find a square first okay so i'll write a b c and d right so my a square will be uh, I hope you know that we multiply this with this, like we take the dot product of this vector with this vector, right? So let's do it. Yeah, uh, it will be a square plus bc. Then at this position we have ab plus bd. At this position we have ac plus cd. And at this position, we have BC plus D square, right? So this is our A square. Now, A square has to be equivalent to this, which means that my A square plus BC is equal to E, and my BC plus D square is equal to f okay but what is important here is this these two things so i'll equate them let's say ab plus bd is equal to zero okay so i can factor out b and i'll be left with b times a plus d equals zero right uh, similarly, if I do AC plus CD equals 0, I can factor out C and I'll be left with A plus D equals 0. Right? Now look, the matrix A is not a diagonal matrix. That means B and C both cannot be 0. But mm, one of them can be 0 right so we'll consider that also let's see okay now this these two equations they give us either b equals 0 or a equals net okay let me not skip it or a plus d equals 0 and from here we get c equals 0 or a plus d equals 0 now i can clearly see that these two things are common so let me take uh, the first case where I say that B is equal to 0, then C cannot be equal to 0. Okay. Now if C is not equal to 0, then A plus D has to be equal to 0. So from the first case, I get A equal to negative D. I hope it's clear. Okay. And in second case, if I take C equal to 0, then my B cannot be equal to 0. And if B is not equal to 0, then A plus D has to be equal to 0. And again, I'll be getting A equals negative D. So it doesn't matter if B and C are both 0. Oh, sorry. If one of them is 0 or not, I'll still ultimately get A equals negative D. Right? Now, or I can say D equals negative A, right? 
So my my matrix A, which was of the form A B C D. Now I'll replace this D with a negative A because D is negative A, right? And what were my entries of A square? See, E was A square plus B C and F was B C plus D square. Right? So I can replace uh, now A is equal to negative D. So A square is equal to D square. Right? So I can write A square plus B C 0, 0 and A square plus B C. Right? Sorry. A square plus B C. I hope this is clear. I just replaced this I just replaced this D square with A square because my d is equal to negative a now right so d square will be equal to a square okay so these are my required matrices this is my a if this is my a then this will be the a square that has all the non-diagonal entries equal to zero right now we can try so what this basically means is that if I construct a matrix A with taking any values of B and C, literally, you just name it any values. For example, say this B is 3 and this I take negative 2. And then at these positions, I have to take the same number but with opposite signs, right? So what shall we take? Uh, for simplicity of uh, no no why not uh, okay I'll take 4 and negative 4 right and just to show you I'll take negative 4 and 4 actually okay so this is my matrix this is my a now let's let's calculate a square right minus 4 3 2 and 4 actually i'll calculate it first with this and then i'll do the original calculation so a square should turn out to be four fours are 16 minus 6 0 0 16 minus 6 so this should be 10 0 0 and 10. let's see if we are actually getting this or not So the dot product comes out to be 16 minus 6 okay and then this with this I'll get negative 12 positive 12 right then this with this I'll get 8 minus 8 right and then this with this I'll get negative 6 positive 16 lo and behold this is 10 0 0 10 okay so this is how we take a general matrix and find uh, a matrix according to the given conditions. If you still are not able to understand anything, as usual, hit me in the comments. And yeah, that's it.